Hey everyone, I wanted to share a tip with you uh, that I came up with today. It was prompted by a question that Allie posed. She asked if I want to send something to my student, um, a piece of music that I have, do I take a picture and email it to myself and attach it to the chat in Zoom or email it to them? And um, one possible solution for that uh, that should save you a little bit of time is using the AirDrop function on Apple devices. So if you have an iPhone and a MacBook or any um, any Mac computer really, there's this thing called AirDrop, which is kind of like um, it's it allows Mac uh, Apple devices to talk to each other um, over a short range. So if my phone is near my laptop or your phone or your laptop, we can use AirDrop to share different files. Uh, photos, music, that sort of a thing. So what you can do is you can take a picture of the uh, music with your phone, airdrop it to your computer, and quickly add that to the chat. And it's a lot quicker than having to email it to yourself, download it, put it, you know, it will save you a lot of time. Uh, this is only applicable for Apple users, so if you use an Android or a Windows phone, um, this won't work. There might be a similar workaround that will save you a lot of time. If you find something, please let me know and we'll share it with the team. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Basically what you want to do is uh, with your phone or your iPad, whatever you're using, open up the camera and take a picture of whatever it is that you want to send to your student. And then what you do is on your phone, there's this little share button right here. So you click that. And there are all these options that come out. And I hope you can see that. But there's one right here that says AirDrop. So I click AirDrop. And then it'll show you it'll show you which devices are available for AirDrop. And so there's my MacBook, and it looks like Laura, my girlfriend's MacBook, is around here somewhere, so I could send her something if I wanted to. But I just want to share it with myself. So I click on that icon and there it is it's been detected by my computer I hit accept I hit save to downloads and so now it's saved in my computer and what you want to do is go to the chat I've already done this in a previous attempt so ignore that but what you do is you click file to attach a file go to your computer you could go to your downloads, but if you're like me, there's going to be a million <laughs> pieces of junk there. If you go to all my files, that's going to show you the most recent addi additions to any any file, anything you've downloaded. So here's from today, and I know it's going to be IMG4776. IMG, is that's like a pretty common prefix for any photo, uh, a digital photo. So that's the most recent one. There it is. Hit that. Then that will be sent in the chat to your student, and then they can click that and open it up and see it. All right. So that's one possible way if you want to quickly send a piece of music to your student by taking a picture with your phone, using AirDrop, um, and then adding it onto the chat. Again, if <clears throat> excuse me, if you're using if you're not using an Apple device, uh, this won't work. But if you do figure out something similar, please let me know. And I hope that helps you all. All right, take care.